welcome to the Woke Nation, our nation of factual truth, where we feel free to share knowledge and spread the knowledge of factual truth without fear, without favor, and without faint. Here we encourage us to live our life and live it well through the knowledge of factual truth. I'm personally encouraging you to live your life and live it well through the knowledge of factual truth. Okay, this is your life. Live your life and enjoy your life. Let no one rob you your joy of living. Yeah, always. <laughs> they will always, they always bomb me. So, you're welcome. The truth shall prevail and we will never give up because we were once in religion, we were once in spirituality before the knowledge of factual truth set us free. So majority of our people are still in there, but there is time for everything. For them, the end time will come for them. That's when spirituality or religion will end in their life and they will we begin to speak the factual truth and we live by it because that's the only way we can join hands together to recover to, to, re to restore our powers and recover our heritage it is possible so we need the majority to wake up so that we can depopulate and rebuild ourselves i'm sharing with us what i titled the mass manipulation mass manipulation manipulation is defined as the action of manipulating something in a skillful manner the action of manipulating someone in a clever or unscrupulous way manipulation trying to get somebody to behave or live the way that benefits you, but not that person. Although you promise that person that no, it is for his or her own good. Manipulation. You make somebody begin to feel and act in certain way to profit you. That is all the system is meant, meant to be. The system of politics, the system of religion, they were designed to deceive people, to control people into believing or the idea to serve them. Why it is not actually the profiting, benefiting those who are running the system. So that's why they go about invading other people's land, enslaving people, uh, colonizing people introducing systems of learning systems of religion to control people and keep them good slaves that's obedient masses obedient masses are slaves so mass man manipulation in everything pretending to care to get what they want that's they pretend to care for you they pretend to serve you but it's actually for them to get what they want. And majority of people are aiming them. Majority of people are supporting them. Majority of people are voting for them. Majority of people are campaigning for them. When you see people like people locked up in prison, people um, serving other people, like when you go to some palace, no, all the palace, they have palace guard, palace servants and all that. Who gave birth to those children? I want you to tell yourself the truth. You know the condition of this life you are living now. You know how harsh it is. Yet, you are producing children. Some of you believe it is God that gives children. Some of you say, no, you want to uh, sustain your name. No, you don't need to. That name can be changed. You are greater than your name. You are from a family. What our people talk about when they're talking about name is the family name. Family name, not your name. You can change your name, you can answer anything. But there's that family name. You see, our people will say, 
don't bring shame to our family. He's not talking about just your immediate family. No, he's talking about your kindred, like your kinsmen, where you came from, the family, the tribe you came from, the people, the community you came from, the family. But today, because they have manipulated the masses through indoctrination and brainwashing, what that used to be for the people, the whole people, now it has become individual things. I want this. I want to be rich. I want to be that. It's no longer the people. So when you go to kindred or village or clan or town or community, you see few people living better than the rest. Few people having, the rest don't have. And those who don't have begin to serve them because they have been manipulated. If you have not been manipulated, you should know that you are not born to serve. You were not born to serve. You are not born to worship. You were born to live, explore, and enjoy life. You don't belong to anyone and you don't own anyone. You are not property of anyone and no one is your property. And that's why it is evil to serve God or to worship God, to serve man or to worship man. It is evil. When I say it is evil, the only true definition of evil is anti-nature, anti-humanity, anti-factual truth. So you see the few deceiving the whole world, giving the word currency, giving the word language, giving the way, say you must, this is what you must follow. And that's what I want to, you know, discuss with us today to try opening the eyes of our people and encouraging those whose eyes are already open to continue doing the great work, growing in knowledge. Don't stay at a spot. Always grow. I grow daily. I, I change my view about things daily. I change the truth that I hold that is not based on fact because every truth must be based on fact. If it's not based on fact, it's not permanent. Be ready to change it when you encounter fact. Don't argue blindly. Think. And it's not every argument you respond to. It's not everything. Some people, their words will tell you their level of their mentality, not their age, their level of mentality. There was this 19-year-old guy who was arguing with uh, people. So I, see, I saw the post I commented also. He was saying, Abrahamic religion, it's not our problem in Africa. It's leadership. <laughs> leadership. Who gave you the leadership? Abrahamic religion. The system you are living in is given to you by Abrahamic religion. And that's why we try to open the eyes of such people. So he's the one that told me he's 19 years old. I said, okay, you are speaking your age. When I was 19, I was a pastor already. Huh? When I was a Christian, I think I become... I, I became a pastor in 1993, right? 1992-93. 92-93. So, so, so I, I'm, a, I'm mature at that time. <laughs> when it's 19. So 19, I, when I was 19 years old, I was locked up in a booster training institution, Kaduna. But now they say they have reformed their changes. That's where they send the teenagers to reform them. So that's where I was until I turned 22, okay? Okay, so the few deceiving the world in government, the few deceiving the world in religious um, institutions, claiming to be the chosen one, claiming to be the appointed one, claiming to be the anointed one to deceive the people, the poor masses or the desperate masses. The few claiming supremacy, few like white supremacy they were they were inferior who decided to build weapons to force people to acknowledge them as superior if you are superior you don't need to uh, fight for it it will show for example african superiority superiority over every other race is right there it's a fact 
It's not something we are trying to do to, to maybe demonize other race. No, it's not in us. We are real human beings. We share with people. We live with people. We don't go about invading other people's land and they try to manipulate them, forcing our beliefs on them or forcing what no, we try to help them build, teach them how to take bath, teach them how to build, teach them how to do things, to live like human beings, not living like animals. And that's why many of you from Africa you believe you are animal because why people say you're animal, you say, Okay, yeah, I'm animal. You are not. You're different. So the few claiming supremacy over the masses, you see a, a, the whole community or the whole town having a king and that king with his little cabinet are the one running the whole town. So the rest of the elders or people in the town becomes their slaves. Now that's why they are living better than them. The few claiming privileged or choosing, the chosen people of God are evil people. The people who claim to have superior over other people and going about killing those people, taking their things, those people are evil. When you read their Bible, you see it there in their Bible. You say, God, tell them, I will give you land, a land that does not belong to you, full of houses you did not build, full of the houses filled with the things you did not fill. What other people labored for, what other people built, you went in and possessed it in the name of God. God is evil. God is anti-nature. So you see the promises has become slaves willingly giving their powers to another to avoid trouble, to avoid war. Sometimes some people will ask, okay, you're saying that our ancestors were great, they were builders, you know that, okay, what, what happened? Why did the white people overcome them and do other things? The simple I, uh, thing I used to place before them is I'm robber. When I'm robber come into your house, no matter how strong you are, they are armed, armed to the teeth. You hear that they, they, they have been shooting from the end of the street before they come to your house. They have been killing before they come to your house. No matter how strong you claim to be, no matter how rich you claim to be, they will overpower you because they are thieves, you are not. They are robbers, you are not. Armed robbers. That's what happened to your ancestors. But you stupidly believe in the lie that your ancestors were worshiping idols. That's why they fell. No, the fact is this, yes, our ancestors started with science before some of them, not all of them, switched to spirituality. And uh, our ancestors were too hospitable to, to strangers. So they invited the, 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 those guests to dinner, as uh, Dr. Ben, uh, Dr. John Clark put it. He said, then they turned our ancestors into dinner. So our ancestors didn't try to verify these people to question them they they just see them okay they look like us although their color is not the same but they are human beings let us treat them as guests but they don't know they have ulterior motive to to steal to kill and destroy so one person or few people having absolute power over the the, the rest of the people that is evil they have absolute power over people through government and religion. Now, if you don't understand that religion and the, and the, and the government or politics are based of a feather, you will keep blaming yourself or someone else or saying you're blaming, you know, you're blaming leadership because you still believe at least God created them, God created you, God created things. No God created anything. It is the same religion and, the, and the, the, the government that told you God created you. And you fear that God. They are the ministers of God. They are the servants of God. God chose them. If you resist them, you are resisting God. And God will punish you through them. <laughs> because they have the weapons, you're done. When you see other Christian denominations that are not a Roman Catholic church bragging or talking against Roman Catholic church, they are ignorant. If not for Roman Catholic church, Christian, Islam would have swallowed Christianity today or today. 
Christianity is protected by Catholic Church. They have their army, Vatican. They have their army. They have their government. Every 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 happening government, if you go there, their hand is there. They have weapons. You think when they say Scaramanto, Sikurel, that, that, that's bullshit. You think when they spring water, that's bullshit. It's only Africa that think those things are real or there's power in them. Because they're suffering, of course, slaves. They, they need some relief. So they keep believing. The few having absolute power over the masses through government and religion, that is evil. Can you rise up against the government? You will not succeed. They will shoot you down. That's it. You think if they shoot you, they will, uh, those of you that in Africa suffer and saying, oh, share this video for international communists to hear it. Now you are wasting your time. They are behind it. Who put your leaders there? I think uh, it's your vote that put your leaders there. You are kidding me. And if you say, if you claim your vote to put anybody in power in Africa and they don't want that person, they will sponsor one of you also that will raise some group. Come. They begin to shoot themselves on a say, pa, 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 pa. Think, think, think. Many of you are growing up, but you are not even learning from the experience of the country where you are living in. I grew up in Nigeria. I know Nigeria is back of my hand. At least I listened to that one president that said the truth about Nigeria, Obasanjo. That man is a smart man. No matter, you may hate him or whatever, but if you listen to him when he was president, he was telling you facts about Nigeria, but many of you be like, eh. And you see how he dealt with those people that put him in power. He began to remove them and put his people, but you know, those people are still those, those people. They, they change everything. Who are the main people running Nigeria today? But you know, you, uh, what do they call you? They ask you to register to vote, right? And you think, yeah, oh, I, I'm obedient. Okay, we are, we are, we will, the youth, which youth? The youth that are looking for means to make money to be spreading in party. That is the youth they are talking about. How much is dollar now? 600 and something. I said that before. It will get up to 1,000. Eh? The youth are looking for money when they are doing a child naming ceremony. Whatever occasion they are doing, they want to be spreading money. That's the people that you think you can build a future with. No matter how much they make, money does not mean you are rich. It does not, that's why we are living with money like that. Money is the real God. All of them worship. And they don't care about you. That's why when you do business with them, they will dupe you. Because they want the money. Especially those of you living abroad, they want you to come and invest in Africa. They will kill you. You say, no, they will not. Plan your life. How is your life? You have to invest where you know you are the one controlling it. But if not, look at those of us that build something in Nigeria, or invest something in Africa. What happened? Some of them run back to abroad, or some of them start you know, just traveling, you know, walk here, go there, spend some time. But majority of people don't want to listen because their family members talk to them, they, you know, all those sentiments. They say, okay, let me do it, do it. You are laboring and you are giving them money. And these people you are giving your money, they have children. Don't you know that when family problem rises, they must touch that money, whether you like it or not? Whether you like it or not. That's why you seem that the few is controlling the masses because the masses are producing children like foul. And they have to take care of their children. They need money to pay school fees, to dress up their children. So if, they, if anybody come and bribe them for anything, you think they will not take it? Especially giving them dollars? That's why dollar is rising. They don't care about Nigerian money, Nigerian war, Naira war. Come on. Give me a dollar. Give me a pound. It's a dollar. Almighty dollar. That's what they call it. The God, the almighty God is almighty dollar. It's not that in God we trust, it's the dollar. You see? So understand, especially those, those of you that are educated, that speak better English than me, but fuck that, because English man cannot speak my language as I'm speaking English. So I'm trying. It doesn't matter the blunder or how I speak it, that's bullshit. But am I, am I communicating? That's the main thing. You can hear me telling you 
in English, there is no God. God is useless. And you should tell yourself the truth because your sufferings are there to teach you. There is no God doing anything for you. You keep praying away your problem. Instead of you planning to solve your problem, you are praying, going from one prayer house to another, opening churches and going to churches, going to mosques, praying all manner of prayers to pray away your problem. You can never pray away your problem. You must plan and solve your problem. I don't have problem like many of you. Why? Because I plan all I say. Before I get married, I say I must marry somebody that is educated, more educated than me. At least the person will be working, I will be working too, or doing something about because I was a pastor then. At least I will face my ministry. Why my wife will be doing at least my I don't like begging money for anything or seeing little children suffering. That's child abuse. And you're going to people's house begging for money. They begin turning you in any way, talk, talking to you anyhow. I saw, and without time, I say, if I'm in Nigeria, considering the hardship in that country, although I have means of support, I will have only two children. It's only when I go to, I travel to abroad, that's when I can have more children. I don't know it's the same thing everywhere. You see the president of America having one child or two, but you see poor person in Africa having 10. Even poor person in America having many children, because some of them use it in America to get some thing from government. You know, in abroad, they do that. That's using the system. But I want you to understand that you are school, you are schooling or your education, those schools you attended, they are tools for indoctrination and brainwashing. That's why you're always learning, but unable to come to the knowledge of the factual truth. You are educated. You went to school, but you still believe there is God. You still believe God answers prayers. You educated though, you know how you studied to pass that exam, yet you say that it is God that makes it possible. Educated person, somebody that went to school, kindergarten, elementary school, secondary school, or high school in America, then college or university, and you get your master's and the other degrees. Yes, this person still believes it is prayer. Jesus that, God that. Believing in the Bible. And this person can read. He's not illiterate. He's stupid. Illiterate is better than him. Because intelligent illiterate is better than educated fool. Like me, I'm intelligent illiterate. <laughs> oh, no, so, yeah. mm. Always learn. But they remain dumb because they went to school. School was used to indoctrinate and brainwash them. I shared that video one year like that. The guy that made it said, the doctors they train, look at all the doctors in Africa. They are trained to take vital signs and give medication. What are they building? What are they building? I think the guy was from either... Um, um, Uganda or something like that. I mean, I shared the video which Facebook may bring up uh, sometime soon, then I share it. Government and religion demand mass obedience. And they forbid the masses from demanding full accountability. That's why they put it in the holy book, so you can read it in your church, your pastor can preach it. Romans chapter 13. Read it 1 to 7. It tells you Every soul must subject to authority, subject to government. The real God in this world is the government. That's why they can shut you down. There's nothing you can do. I will not take this. Oh, yesterday, I, I forgot to share this testimony. I was so excited yesterday. I almost had sleepless nights. I, I slept late because I was so excited. Why? One of the things that made me hate coming to Nigeria also, is the, uh, this uh, COVID test added to it. So it was only once. Last time I came to Nigeria, they did that test. I hate to do it again. But I have to. Now I want, I want to come to Nigeria, right? This week. Okay. So I was preparing how to call them and book an appointment to come for the test. So I go online 
you know, and such. Oh, the airline say, no, you don't need any more. The Nigerian government has stopped it. All you need, if you are fully vaccinated, I say I'm fully vaccinated, I take one, two, three, four. So I take the first one, the second one, Madonna, and I take the two boosters, which some of you hated. I'm so I'm happy. But think about it. Those people that are deceiving you about things, oh, believe this or don't believe that and don't push it, those pastors, do you know that they cannot travel without going through that also? There is no anointing covering them. There is no divine anything covering them. They, they must either be fully vaccinated or bring the proof of negative tests of COVID-19. It's a must. If you don't present either of these documents, the airline will not carry you. And in their airline, you, know, you say you don't wear masks, you must wear masks in their inside. You must wear masks in, in that plane, in that flight. Now think about it. If God chose these people, if God is using them, why are they following that? And you still believe they are different than you or they are better than you or man, not that you are even giving them your money, your heart and money, believing that miracle will, miracle will happen. They are playing God over the masses, playing God over the people. They say the God you see is the man of God. The man of God is the, is the is God you see. No. If there is God, you don't need anyone to represent that God. That God itself will show up. But that God does not exist. So let me show us some of the examples of mass manipulation that many of us are engaging in them without knowing it. And when you tell such people to wake up, they say, what do you mean? Now they tell you that there is one God, the creator and the controller of this universe. That's mass manipulation. The father of one God is called Akhenaten. He was a pharaoh in Egypt. He's the one that started monotheism. Then they begin to use it for other people, the Europeans. Remember, all these things about God or even the image of Jesus was created for the Europeans by our Africans. Many of you don't know that. That's why when they wrote, when you read their Bible, they, they show you that Jesus was black. The Europeans say, no, they make it white. Because the people that, the first church, the first Christian church was built by the Africans in the place you call Turkey today. Church of Hagia Sophia, something like that. Google it. The first Christian church is not Vatican. It is when, when that belief entered Europe, that's when Christ, Jesus became a Jew. Read it in your Bible. In Matthew, Mark, and Luke, Jesus was not a Jew. Jesus became a Jew in the book of John, which came later. John chapter 4, that's why I tell you, you know, salvation is of the Jew. That's Jesus, he's a Jew. But in Matthew, Mark, Luke, Jesus was not a Jew. <laughs> it's in their Bible. Mm. Examples of mass manipulation. Manipulation. There is one God. The fool has said there is no God. So just educated somebody because you read in the Bible. He said the fool has said in his heart there is no God. Then you think you questioning such thing will make you a fool. Saying there is no God makes you a fool. No, that's not what makes you a fool. Saying there is no dragon cannot make you a fool. Saying there is no Spider-Man cannot make you a fool. Saying there is no Father Christmas or saying no Santa Claus cannot make you a fool. It makes you the wise. But it's the instrument of mass, mass manipulation that makes you believe what is written. Abandoning your own brain. You don't care. The same brain you used to become a doctor. The same brain you used to become an engineer. You studied to become those things. 
the same brain you used to get those degrees, you abandon it because uh, they tell you a book comes from a guy, and if you don't keep that book, you will be punished. You will be born in hellfire. Fuck that book. Fuck that hellfire. That's why they manipulated you. They tell you that Jesus Christ is the savior of the world. Savior of the world. Savior of the world. Hey, somebody tell you one God created everything in this world. You believe. Then tell you now that God so loved you and he sent somebody to die for you and save you from your sin. The sin you still commit yesterday, committing today, and will commit tomorrow. Save you from what? Quit sin. You see professors going to church, carry Bible like this. Carry Bible is the truth of the world. Teaching it to his children. Teaching it to her kids. Especially the mothers. They are the most effective tool for manipulation or for enslaving the mind in every family. Mothers. And they use that emotional blackmail to keep you there when you grow. No. You cry. I cry too. You crying for me that I'm lost. I cry for you that you are stupid. They gave you holy book telling you there is one God. And this God you must obey him. Lean not on your own understanding. This God who hate the wisdom of man. This God who say we frustrate the, the prudence of the, I mean, the, 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 the understanding of the prudence. And this is the God you believe, loves you, care about you. And they promise you imaginary world in the sky. Educated person, grown adult, where is heaven? You are pointing to the sky. Heaven does not exist, no matter how you try to rename it or define it. God does not exist, no matter how you try to rename, rename it or define it. Christ does not exist, no matter how you try to rename it or define it. Begin to speak what you know, not what you believe. Oh, when you look at your brain, it looks like Godhead. That means there is God. That's nonsense. Your brain is the God they're talking about. Your mind, that's nonsense. Brain is brain. It's not God. There is nothing that is God. There's no one who is God in this world, anywhere. No. And they, they, they see you are coughing with that Ten Commandments. Africans understand what is going on. For us to restore our power and recover our heritage, we must unite to break the whole Ten Commandments. All of them from beginning to end of it. If we are not ready to break the whole nine, Ten Commandments, we are not ready to be free. Eh? The Ten Commandments is what keeps you in bondage. Your native daughters believe in it. Your traditionalists believe in it. All of you believe in it. And that's what is what is influencing your constitutions, your government, your leaders. They all believe in the Ten Commandments. All of you believe in it. You can never be free. You are slaves of God. Who is the God? The one that gave you the book is the God. Another mass manipulation is seven days a week calendar. The Gregorian calendar. Africans we are the ones that invented calendar. They have different calendars. Some tribe have their own. This one, the other tribe have that one. But these evil people came and gave us slavery calendar. You work for six days and rest only for one day. <laughs> and it is not balanced. But in the true natural calendar that our ancestors invented, like the one the Igbos are still having today four market days makes a week 
indeed in each day you walk and rest walk and rest not you walk three days and rest no you walk and rest walk and rest and the months 28 days equal balance this is why the world is no longer balanced they gave you this evil calendar by the pope pope gregory the 13th in 1582 before it was Caesar, the one they called Julian, is it Julian calendar? Caesar, emperor, had that one. But because you never ask question, why do they have uh, Rome and they have Vatican? Two states in one country. The Pope and the emperor fighting for power. They, 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 oh, they, they said the, the emperor did not calculate well. We calculate well. His own was missing. Because they must always give you reason why they are doing what they are doing. And they force you. If you don't believe it, they kill you. That's why you see they give you bad day. That's part of mass manipulation. I am plus one this, this, today. I am happy New Year in January. New Year. Supposed to be when new things begin to come or spring not winter when things are dead but that's what they because everything they gave to us is from us to remain dead dead brain seven days a week is is mass manipulation is you know how we are living now but do you know that the americans are not actually following that seven days a week as africans are following it Africans who are in Africa, you see, on Sunday like this, they don't go anywhere. Everything is everything is shut down. Everything is shut down. But in America, you no, know, people go to work. They don't go to church anymore, as they used to in Africa. They want to go to work. They want to go make money. <laughs> oh man. You that is observing birthday, do you know you are among the masses that have been manipulated? You have been manipulated to believe, yeah, you have to celebrate your birthday. Your ancestors weren't observing and celebrating their birthdays. Because your birth is not your beginning and your death is not your ending. No. You don't know those two days. You don't know the day you were born. And you don't know the day you will die. You don't know it. Even in their Bible, look at where they put birthdays. Two places. One in the Old Testament. The other one in the New Testament. And it is involved kings, not the people. Not people. Kings. Slave master. Kings who are ruled over people. First, uh, The first in Old Testament was who? Pharaoh, and on his birthday, psh, somebody must be killed, hang. It's there. Then the second one is King Herod. On, on, on his birthday, somebody was also what killed? Psh, John the Baptist. It's right there in their book. These things are not hidden. They tell you if you want to hide anything from Africa, black man, hide it in the book. It's a lie. That's part of also mass manipulation. Believing your ancestors did not write anything down. You stupid. They did more than writing. Writing is easy. They, they build structure for you. They, they mold it. That's the hardest thing to do. If you're not smart, you cannot... Can you put up a sculpture like that? You cannot. And you make it you look like that person you made. And you want to compare and say they wrote in the writing book. Book is bullshit. And if you keep believing in book, you are destroying your brain. Many of you are still living in this manipulation. You are still living in this indoctrination and brainwashing. But you think, no, no, because I'm no longer religious. I am free. No. There are garbages you must drop. I'm awakened. And so, let me see how you react to things. How are you living your own life? Show me. As a people, we are slaves. But individually, you have to free yourself. 
until the majority of us wake up, then we can free ourselves. We don't need redemption song. We don't need songs of freedom. No, we don't need any divine help. We don't need any God. We don't need to fulfill any book. Mm -mm. We must use our brain and begin to restore our power and recover our heritage. It's possible. It will happen. Another mass manipulation that many people are, uh, are ignorant of is they tell us that white or light stands for good and black stands for bad, evil. No, it's not true. Understand that black stands for darkness. Darkness is not evil. That is the source of everything. Our African ancient ancestors created everything. They made everything. You are enjoying the world today, regardless of your race. White does not represent any good. And you're supposed to know that good is evil, and the evil is good, according to its, their source. Their source is God. Darkness is thick. That is the greatest, is most intelligent, most wise. That's why they, they today, the white have, can have not succeeded in knowing how darkness, black people built the pyramids and the great things. They have not found it out. It's not, it was not spiritual anything. We still have that power among us, but we have been taught away from it. We spiritualize it and we are not using it as we're supposed to. Wake up, my brethren. Wake up, my people. Black does not stand for the system of you. When you see black cat, you run away. No, embrace it. Sometimes I'll be coming back from work. I see black cat at my door. I keep coming. As if it were when I was a Christian. Every spirit sending this one. No, the cat is gay. Maybe somebody around here have it. White is that's what they don't don't you know there was where they have that white propaganda going about killing black people and they see black people begin to bleach themselves so that they will not be killed. I told you before I would say it again. I stopped supporting anything Argentina when I found out the history why they don't have black people among them today is that they kill out all their black people because they don't want to be black, they want to be white. All these uh, Spanish people they were blacks before. And the church is be, was behind it. White propaganda. Going about killing people, claiming white supremacy. Church is behind all of them. Till tomorrow. Until we wake up. And stop it. We are the only one that will end it. Mm. The fourth one. Mass, every example of mass manipulation. The so-called wise sayings of the elders or people we call um, uh, professors or educated people or people in authority. Somebody that is uh, awarded something. Sometimes those things they call wise saying, listen to it. Listen, listen to it and judge it. it it's stupid. That is the wise saying that make you believe the lion is the king of the forest. It's not. It's not even a forest animal. <laughs> when you believe he's the king of forest. No. Uh, I was listening to Ajah here. I always listen to it. He said that. Odumu Odumu ebu ago eh mana ahu chopro odumu ebu obi the 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 lion kills the tiger right but ant chase the lion away from where or from its abode ant did animal tell you that lion is their king 
You say, oh no, we are wiser than the animals. Animals did not tell you that. That's what you made up. Animals did not tell you you are greater than them, you are wiser than them. When you go within them, when they are more than you, that they're dealing with you, tell me whether you are greater than them. Let me see. You see them, you begin to run, they chase you and kill you. <laughs> Think outside that box you are in so that you can wake up and get out from there reason with me i'm not asking you to think like me to live like me or to be like me no reason with me use your brain that's all i'm asking you for i am not i'm not running any charity organization no i don't give my money out like that all, all i'm giving you is knowledge something to provoke you to think for yourself so you stop being liability too plan your life no one owe you anything if anyone's supposed to support you, it must be your parents. They must do that. If they don't do that, hold them. They are responsible for you. You say, no, you have grown now. Did they establish you? Did your parents establish you? Are you even covering their evil to you? There is this thing also I want to talk about. Like expiry date, right? That's one of the manipulation. Do you, do, do you see like you, you go to buy something in the store, you look for the expiry date, right? right? To see if it's expired or not. Or oh, you don't know that sometimes they wipe out the, the date that expired and put the current one. One of you don't know that. Many people are getting rich like that. Especially in the area of medicine, drug. They can wipe out the date or it expired. They put maybe another four years there. They are selling it. Think, my people. Think, my people. Think, my people. Our condition, our slavery condition is not permanent. That's why I need you to wake up so that we can end it. Another mass manipulation example is this. He hear even people suffering that are supposed to revolt against the government and demand for justice. They are telling you, who are the government? Don't you know we are the government? People are the government. The democracy. Government of the people for the people. Of the That's nonsense. No, it's not. You are not. You are not. Government for the people for the people. By the people for the people. That's bullshit. That's where they give you kingship. Think. Don't just believe what you hear. Even if you believe it, go beyond that. Dare to know. Another example of manipulation. Oh man, this one. This one, many people still don't want to hear it. They tell you that no money or no education, no life. No money, no life. What living? Many of us are living like that today. Life is nothing without money. Money, money, more money, money. Yeah. Money, they gave us God and the money. You can live without God and the money. How many of you agree with me? You say, no, I can live without God. Without money, I cannot live without money. I need money. Without money, can you be talking what you are talking? Without money, can you do Yes, without money, I can do all that. If you have your land, you produce things, then you can change it into money. <laughs> making money is not making a living no it's not and that's why when they said they're not giving you your money you put in the bank what will you do government is in charge what will you do when they shut everything down what did you do nothing but at least some people wake up 
say, okay, this thing happened. I don't believe in that religious nonsense anymore. They shut everything down. Mm. Understand that your life is more important than what is written. Your brain is sufficient for you. You don't need to continue believing their lie. We must end this mass deception, mass slavery, mass manipulation, mass indoctrination, mass brainwashing. That's the only way we can stop being happy slaves. What do happy slaves do? Happy slaves hate themselves and they love their oppressors. And if you are from among them telling them, listen, this thing is not supposed to be so, they begin to rise up against you. They begin to call you names. It is time we wake up and begin to demand for justice, demand for security, demand for things that we're supposed to have as a people. How can our land producing oil, having all manner of mineral resources, yet there are poor people in our land, and you think it's okay. Your village have great things in the land. But you are chasing money all over everywhere. What about what is in your land? Many of us who grew up in Nigeria, do we know they were, they, there's gold mine in the north? But all we know is oil. Oil in the, in, the, in the east, oil in the south, south. They divided us. Oil in the south, south. Oil in the southeast. But they have gold in the north. A lot of precious stones there. But they don't tell us about that one. And we are not going oh, just give me money. We build filling station. That's what we do. Oh, you money. <laughs> wake up, my people. Wake up, wake up. Let us wake up and stop being deceived by the few. Being confused by the few. Being led by the few. All of us supposed to be leading ourselves. That person you think you say you are loyal to, is that person loyal to you? Is that person loyal? You say, no, if all of us are this, there will be chaos. Who tell you that? That's nonsense they told you. That's why you give your power to them, that they have absolute power over you. See how you are suffering. Tell yourself the truth. You cannot wish your problem away. You cannot pray your problem away. You cannot bind and cast away your problem. You must plan and use your resources to solve your problem. No slavery condition is permanent. You can shine again, wake up, and live humanly. Africans, I am begging you, begin to use your brain. No more fear, no more faith. But knowledge, go after the knowledge of factual truth. Ask questions and demand for answers. Don't stop until you know it. Pardon. <laughs>